Hey guys, Synergy here and I'm bringing you a brand new video. This one is a tutorial on attrition. It's basically how to score over 100 points and we're going to get into this gameplay now guys. As you see here, you can see the burn cards that I'm using. Uh, one of the key things you want to do if you want to score high, basically if you come up against a lobby that's full G7, G8 and you're playing on your own, I guarantee you, you are not going to hit that 100 marker unless they are very bad players. Um, yeah, but we're going to get into this anyway, like I said, and I'm going to show you this gameplay. This one is actually 158 points. It's my current highest that I've got at the minute. Um, but yeah, on the colony, it's a lot easier in my opinion because of a certain route that I take. And I'm just going to talk you through this one, guys, because this will rack up your points nice and early and you'll get a nice head start on it. From then, it's basically up to you, basically up to your gun skill, the amount of pilot kills you get. Grunts and Spectres, do not ignore them, guys. They're going to add towards your score. One of the main things in attrition that a lot of people don't realise is that when you're actually in attrition, uh, say, for example, I kill one Grunt, that's one point. Just give an example. I know it might be worth more than that. But if you kill two grunts, it doubles it. And if you kill three grunts in quick succession, the points keep adding up and up and up. So the faster you find those grunts, the faster you find those spectres, the higher your point score will be. Simple as that. You're going to see an example of it here. I'm going to use the art grenades right over there. And you can see plus one point and then plus two. Okay, so that's the first part, that's just killing two, plus seven, plus nine, so times nine, times ten. You can see it at the bottom of the screen, in the centre of the screen, so you know exactly what I'm talking about there, guys. And you can see it just resets as well, so it does have a timer on it, you've got to be in quick succession for those points to rack up. Um, what I'm basically doing here is I'm just scouting around the bottom section. I'm not actually using the roofs. I'm just going after the pilots, the spectres, the grunts, stuff like that. I'm going to try and get my Titan as fast as I possibly can. You can see a lot of spectres around here, so I'm using the infinite art grenade. That is probably one of your best friends in attrition. Infinite art grenade burn card is just dominating people. Um, so yeah, you basically see me get into the Titan now and we're going to start getting on some more of this work. Now what you're going to see is my movement throughout this gameplay guys, so you can basically see me just taking out these random spectres in the corner there. Now what I did is I actually shot those spectres, now if you look at what I do there, I actually crush them and the points keep racking up and up and up as you crush them, so you want to find them as fast as possible, keep crushing them, don't waste time shooting them, if it's a human pilot, shoot them by all means, you don't want them rodeoing you or anything like that, so yeah. That's basically how you take them out guys and that's how your attrition points keep racking up. So you can see me go to this next one plus 6 attrition points because I've got them in quick succession. We've got a human player down here, unfortunately we didn't take him out. Somebody else took him out for us. Right. Throughout this gameplay I'm basically using the minimap to your fullest guys. You want to keep looking where the grunts, where the spectres are spawning because when they drop down in the pods, also humans that are dying on the other team, that is exactly where they're going to spawn as well. It doesn't matter what route they take after it, if you're near those grunts and spectres, chances are you're going to end up with eyes on the human pilots as well. Um, unless they're already in the middle of the map camping. Always keep an eye out on that tower as well. If you find your titans taking a lot of damage, check that tower. That's just another little hint for you guys. So, yeah. Um, I can't really say much more apart from I hope you pretty much enjoy this gameplay. And let me know what you think. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe. Don't forget to pass the word guys. I need all the help that I can get. Um, I've been trying to get subscribers, stuff like that. I've been working my ass off, literally spending days rendering films. Every YouTuber will know exactly what I mean. If you're a YouTuber and you're watching this, you know exactly what I'm on about. Um, PC's not the best. It will be better very soon. So hopefully I'll be able to render a bit faster. And the quality will be a little bit less laggy as well. So 
Um, yeah, basically the process is going to be a lot better and stuff like that. I'm going to have more RAM, more memory, one terabyte, whereas now I've only got 500 megabytes. So yeah, I'm going to have space for a lot more films for you guys, so I'll be bringing them out on a daily content. Um, somebody did give me advice recently not to actually post 10 videos at once, not to, for example, keep posting video after video after video because then it does actually look like I'm not pulling the work in and stuff. I just want to clarify this, I am actually pulling a hell of a lot of work into these videos. Um, it's took days upon days just to get all these videos ready for you guys, so I hope you do appreciate that. Um, I'm not trying to whine or anything like that, but yeah, it does take a long time and I don't want people to think that I'm just uploading a video for the sake of uploading it. I have to comment through them as well which takes me watching through the video and just commentating on what I'm doing like here for example at the Titan and you can see me just take out the pilot assist on the rodeo. I'm gonna climb over this wall here and we're gonna be using those art grenades because we still got the full art grenades and um, yeah, they're just going to help us rack up those points. You can see attrition points times 2 plus 10. And I'm just trolling the outskirts because I see that nice pack of spectras and yeah, I want them with an art grenade. That will rack up my points even more. Um, what I could have done in this gameplay, guys, is I could have actually racked up a lot more points if I didn't get distracted by the titans that were up. And I, I think I spent too much time attacking the titan where a titan only gives you, yeah, for example, what, five attrition points when you take it down. And the amount of time that you take to take it down could be two minutes gone and you could have killed, what, how many spectres, how many grunts? Give or take, ballpoint figure, you could quite easily get 34 to 40 Spectres Grunt. And equivalent to that, probably around about, you know, I'm just hazarding a guess, so I might not be accurate on this, but probably around about a good 50, 60 points. Okay, so as you can see, this is where I get distracted and I start attacking the Titans as well because I see them on low health and I thought I might as well take them out. You can see you only get 5 attrition points for the Doom Titan, but then I crush that guy which gives me the 9, then I crush another guy which gives me a 10, which is a Spectra that I crushed there. Okay, now I am going to be uploading a video after this one and I actually need the public's help on it because I basically joined a game and it was like the game literally gave me a wall hack guys. So I do want you to check out that video as well, so be sure to keep an eye on the YouTube, it will be up there and I'm not sure what caused it, I just joined the game and it was literally like he had a wall hat, you'll see it exactly because I've got it on video for you guys to see as well. Right, so we're on 245 to 130, I actually climb up on here because I know there's a human there, we take that human out as we're climbing over. See me using the art grenades. This guy, where'd he go? Where the hell? He just completely disappeared in my screen. There was no opening there. Was that just me going crazy? Or, yeah. <laughs> Even I can't explain that one. So, yeah, we end up taking out that Tommy Xbox CZ and we get our Titan again. <coughs> now, <clears throat> sorry, excuse me, a bit of a frog in my throat here. Um, one of the other things I could have advised you of there is when you're on say 264 points you don't really want to be getting into your titan at that point you want to put that titan on follow mode let it follow you, it'll pick up a few kills undoubtedly if it gets rodeoed you can use that and take out the human pilot while you're on foot um, but you can actually rack up a lot more points just by being on foot as well so as you can see there, point proven, plus 9, auto titan killed which racked up more points my auto titan being attacked by another titan end up rodeoing this this is where you don't want to waste time with it um, if the guy's not ejecting you might as well take it out because it's 5 points at the end of the day there you go, guy ejects, I come over here, I get pretty much stuck around here and he goes back in his titan and then I get straight back on it so this has got to be annoying him but yeah I wasted a lot of time there and he used the electric smoke on me unfortunate but it happened um, we're coming towards the end of the game now guys so don't forget I'd love to hear all your comments love to 
Um, if it gets likes, it gets likes. Um, it might get dislikes, stuff like that. At the end of the day, not everybody's going to like my videos, and you can't force anybody to like your videos and stuff like that. So. I uh, just hope you enjoy them and I hope this commentary has helped in a way just to help you sort of improve your game, maybe you're new to the game, just learning the ropes of how to play attrition. It's all about the Grunt Spectra's Titan Kills, Titan Kills least priority, Grunt Spectra's main priority, Pilot Kills secondary priority. If you imagine it, it's not Pilot Hunter guys, so you're not really bothered about the human kills, but obviously you're not going to want the human kills to kill you because it also affects your KD ratio. Right. So there we go, we end up taking this Titan out at the end of the game. Unfortunately at the end of the game all your kills and everything, they don't count towards your score. So the score is actually set as we see it and we're going to basically try and take this out now. Like I said guys, if you can show some support, don't forget to subscribe, I've got a giveaway at 250 subscribers, that's only 15 more subscribers to go guys. Pass the word, there you go, you can see me score on the scoreboard, have a little mess around and there we go, 17 pilot kills, 3 deaths, 74 minion kills, which gives me 158 attrition points. I actually got 5 times.